Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Elizette Papyrus is joining us. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well on yourself. All right. That sounds a whole lot better. All right. Uh, and uh, you are with Bristol Community College Senior Special Programs Coordinator for Basic Needs Support. And uh, tell us, Elizette, uh, a bit about the, those uh, upcoming enrollment initiatives that you have going on for the fall semester. Okay, so um, I'm happy to share about our Basic Needs Center. So at Bristol Community College, we recognize that basic needs have a direct impact on our students' ability to really thrive in their academic setting. Um, and when we talk about basic needs, we're talking about things such as food, housing, transportation, wellness, and other support for unexpected needs that come up during a student's journey. And through the Basic Needs Center, we really try to provide students with tools and resources both on and on campus that can support their educational journey and beyond. So, and why is that important? Um, it's important because we know that a big majority of our students are facing these challenges. Um, in 2019, we partnered with the Hope Center to do the Real College Survey, and those results show that over 64% of Bristol Community College students experienced at least one form of basic needs and security within that previous year. Um, and that was what was shown through survey completion. And, and if anything, the pandemic has only exasperated that. So we're really trying to provide support. And when we're talking about support, we're talking about support for things like food and nutrition. Um, we try to do things like our mobile food market, which is in collaboration with the Greater Boston Food Bank, which happens once a month where we provide fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy items to faculty, staff, students, and community members. And then we serve upwards to about 400 individuals and their families each month. We also provide meal vouchers to our on-campus dining facility for students experiencing financial hardship um, and that are food insecure so they can have a warm meal while they're on campus. Um, and beyond that, on all four of our other, our three other campuses, we try to provide what are called grab and go meals so a student can get a bite to eat um, on campus. And our goal is to eventually have a food pantry right on our campus as well. So students are also connected to resources off campus, such as SNAP and WIC, to support their food insecurity. And then as we think about housing and shelter, we're always trying to connect students with emergency housing programs, affordable housing, um, things like fuel assistance to help them get by from day to day. And then our students are experiencing a wide range of financial issues and that impacts transportation. How do they get to and from our campuses or jobs or anywhere else that they need to go? Um, we have our students, uh, many of them are our parents, so childcare costs are always, you know, pretty high. So we're just trying to do little things like provide clothes, provide meals, um, things that help get them a little bit closer while we can't, you know, fix the housing crisis or we can't make um, food more affordable. If we're able to give them a little bit more access, that's the goal. Yeah, that's a, so, that that really is a, a great program. And I was just I just heard a couple of days ago, and I was telling a couple of folks over the weekend, how is it in this country we have so much food insecurity? But it's out there. I guess there are millions of, of folks who are, who are taken back by uh, that that kind of uh, unfortunate situation. So good that you're doing it at Bristol Community College. That's, a, that's certainly a, a great program. Now, tell us a bit about how uh, students and their families can pay for college. Can pay for college? Yep. Um, that's what, well, that's what I, I'm sorry that I, I didn't mean to uh, to uh, surprise you with that question, but that's the question I've been given to ask you about. <laughs> so maybe you can give okay. it a, give it a shot and see what you come up with. Okay, well, different. You know, our students come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Um, some of our students are eligible for what's called um, federal Pell grants. 
Um, typically, those are given to students who have an expected family contribution of zero after completing their financial aid FAFSA. Um, so for many of our students, um, they are Pell eligible so they can receive that grant. For some of our students, they're paying out of pocket, so they're working maybe one, two, sometimes even three jobs to help pay for school. Other students are, you know, relying on financial aid and a mixture of um, student loans, whether those are government or private, to help um, pay for their cost of school. And, and some of our students are fortunate enough to be in programs um, or employment opportunities that'll help pay for them as well. All right. So there are some good, some pretty good options there. That's good. All right. So uh, again, uh, we've been talking uh, with uh, Elizabeth uh, uh, Pyers. You've been with the college. How how long have you been at Bristol Community College? I've been at Bristol for a little over a year now. Okay. So this is kind of a new home for you. That's good. So yeah. Things are going well, and uh, it's and now uh, is the response uh, has, has the response been good as far as uh, reaching out to some of the kids who need your help. Yes. So a lot of the I get more referrals than students reaching out on their own. Okay. Um, so I'll get referrals from other colleagues on campus, faculty members, but a student can request support on their own. So if you are a Bristol Community College student, experience basic need and security, or you'd like to learn more information, please visit www.bristolcc.edu backslash basic needs. Or feel free to email student engagement at bristolcc.edu or call 774 357 2459. Excellent. All right. So, uh, some good information there. We wish you well with the program. And it's unfortunate we have to do these kind of programs, but the need is out there, I guess. There's just no question about it. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth uh, Pyers, uh, Bristol Community College, uh, the Senior Special uh, Programs Coordinator for Basic Needs Support. I uh, appreciate you coming on board. You have a great uh, month of October, and good luck to you uh, with the program. Thank you. All have right. a great day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Take care.